Welcome back to Behind the Shed Cooking, where we cook everything outside. It's a dreary December evening. And today, we're making drunken chicken. First thing we gotta do is prepare our barbecue. We're not using our accessory today. We're gonna take our top rack out. We're gonna stand this chicken up on its feet, so we need that out of the way. Turn on our propane. We're gonna cook this bird at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, indirect. What indirect means is you're gonna cook the bird in the center here. So we want this center burner off. We'll have this burner on and this burner on, so it's indirect. You get the heat. Let it come up to temp first, and then we'll turn the center burner off. Okay, when our uh, barbecue is coming up to temp here, I'll prep the bird. And this is basically very easy to do. This is something my family and I do quite often. You get your bird out. Sure there's no bits you want to cut off like this. Just trim it up, anything you don't want. That's pretty good. Then what we're going to do is put a little bit of olive oil on it. Everglade seasoning. This is fantastic seasoning. We use it in everything. Just like that. Now comes the drunken part of this chicken. I'm gonna use a Magners, simply because my wife has celiac disease. So you can use any kind of beer. Guinness is good. Any Pilsner, Pale Ale, anything you want really. Open it up, give it a taste, make sure it's okay. Yep. Now I wash this can beforehand. And all we're gonna do is insert said can into said chicken without crushing it. Come on. And that's it. We'll set that on the barbecue just like that. So as it heats up, the, uh, in this case, the cider will um, steam out the top, give it some extra flavor, make it nice and juicy. Another thing I'm gonna do is spray this every 20 minutes or so, and this is one third apple juice, apple cider vinegar, and water. All right, we'll wait for this barbecue to come up in temp, and that's it. All right, my barbecue is just sitting just slightly above 350 or about 175 Celsius. So what I'm going to do now is turn off our center burner. Keep those ones going. That's the lid. Put our chicken in. He's 
I want to make sure it's not going to fall over. There you go. So let that cook for about 20 minutes. Then I'll give it a spritz. The only other thing I'm going to do is add a couple probes to um, check the temperature. That's pretty much drunken chicken. All right, it's been about 20 minutes exactly. Just gonna check this bird, give it a spritz. And I might rotate it too. Alright, it's been 40 minutes. I'm gonna check this out. It's uh, we're losing light here, so it's hard to see it. Smelling good. I'll have to get a light sorted out here. It's coming along. Okay, it's been another 20 minutes. Check this this girl out. Now she did fall over on me. So when I was looking for a light, I heard this bit of a crash. And she was lying on her side. You just gotta be careful to prop her off since we fall. It's starting to look uh Starting to look good. Another 20 minutes. We'll give it a probe and we'll see where we're at. All right. Uh, it's been an hour and 20 minutes exactly since this bird went on. And just probing it here. She's ready to come off. I forgot oven gloves. I'll be right back. Okay. This bird's looking good. <laughs> just falling apart. Oh wow. Give this a taste. Oh. That's good. So, that's how you do drunken chicken. A very quick and simple meal. We do it quite often here um, and it tastes delicious. 
Hope you enjoyed watching Behind the Shed Cooking. Please click like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we got lots more videos coming. Cheers.